guys. Dave's back with another video, finally. Um, <laughs> I, uh, I blew the uh, power cord on my laptop and uh, I probably should have shot videos while I was ordering a new one and, and whatever, but uh, you get kind of sick and tired of electronics, what can I say? <laughs> Anyway, as you know by the title of the video, we're talking about the old argument, you know, tents over hammocks, hammocks over tents. Um, I have both, a couple of each. I, I like both. Uh, so I think I can give an unbiased opinion uh, of the whole thing. And hopefully before the black flies eat me up too. <laughs> now I've seen... Uh, videos like thumbnails on videos and you know they're kind of divided in half and like one the guy's in a hammock and he's had a great rest and he's all snug and cozy and whatever and uh you know the other half of the um thumbnail you know he's coming out of a tent and he's soaking wet and he's all miserable and you know kind of what and vice versa too you know the guy in the tents had a great night and he's all miserable coming out of the hammock and you, you can really tell, like, what their preference is just by looking at the thumbnail. I mean, you don't even have to watch the video technically to know uh, what their thoughts are on each. And, uh, <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm not uh, trying to uh, shit on anybody for their thumbnails or videos. I mean, by all, to watch them. They're all good. Uh, I don't, I don't, I'm not trying to pick on anybody. I'm just saying I think that I can give an unbiased opinion um, a, a, a little, little bit better than the ones that I've seen, at least. Uh, so let's get down to it. Okay, so my, uh, my channel's been hijacked by a dog once again. Give me these. Mwah. Okay, so now here's, here's a good argument right here. If you got a buddy like I do, like you know, a whole bunch of them because everybody I know who has dogs, their dogs are like my best friends. <laughs> you're not sleeping in a hammock with them. You're going to need a good size tent uh, to go camping with your dog. So um, there's one uh, reason, I guess, to have a good tent. Uh, but anyway, so I have, I only have one hammock uh, for this whole thing because it's a hammock, right? I mean, it either comes with or without an attached bug net. And, you know, I mean, yeah, they come in like singles and doubles and, you know, kind of whatever. Um, but I mean, you know, a hammock isn't really that, uh, it's not that intricate. There's, there's not a lot of parts to it per se. So one will do just fine. But I have two uh, tents here. Both of them are snug packed. Both of them are very, very good tents. They are fairly expensive. Um, but, uh, I mean, you could camp in just about any old tent uh, from Lowe's or Walmart or, you know, any sports uh, equipment dealer, you know, whatever you like, whatever you can afford. Um, I just happen to have some higher end tents here because I have done so much camping over the years. That's what I've ended up buying uh, eventually. But even I had a Walmart tent for years and years and years. I was perfectly happy with it. Um, but yeah, so I, I have the two tents. I have the hammock. And these are the examples that I'm going to be using. Okay, first things first. Hammock. I've used this hammock quite extensively. I have enjoyed pretty much every time I've used it. Uh, I sleep well. Uh, it's got a bug net, which I think is super important uh, if you go wild camping the way I do. Whether it's attached or not, totally up to you, but I do recommend a bug net. Um, now, the biggest problem I see with a lot of uh, hammock videos, you know, where they prefer hammock over tent, is they'll say, this is the tent you need to go camping, this is the hammock. Okay, this is the 
This is a three-man tent. This is a one-man hammock, right? Now, if I were to put three hammocks next to, the, next to this so that three people could sleep, it still wouldn't equal up to the size and weight of a three-man tent. And this tent is actually fairly lightweight compared to other cheaper tents. All told, I think this is seven pounds uh, with everything together. Here's the problem with this. These are tree straps. You can't use a hammock without tree straps. They don't, a lot of the time, they don't show that. And then, you need a tarp. You're not going to sleep in a hammock all night long without some sort of cover. Um, not unless you really, really know it ain't going to rain, but whoever really, really knows, right? Okay, so now I have all of this. Now, this is a 10 by 10 tarp, and you could pretty much say this is the industry standard. Anybody who uh, has tarps and does things with tarps pretty much has a 10 by 10 tarp. Now, you could go with a 5 by 7, and that'll be perfectly fine for covering a hammock, but you're still carrying more than what they generally show you. Here's my tent, here's my hammock, blah, blah, blah. So, right there, their natural bias is really showing through at that point because they're not giving you the whole deal. Now, three people sleeping in this tent or three hammocks, three sets of tree straps <laughs> and, and, a, and a tarp, now we're getting somewhere. Okay, and like I said before, if you have a dog, or I don't know, even if you take your cat camping, you're probably not going to want to sleep in a hammock, even with a cat. You certainly can't really do it with a, uh, well, maybe a small dog, but I, I still wouldn't want to do it. I wouldn't want to have my tent. Now, even if we were just one person, and this is all we really need, this is a one-man tent. This is the Snug Pack Stratosphere. It's a bivy tent, basically. It's very lightweight. As a matter of fact, when you hold, I think this weighs a little bit more. I mean, I don't have a scale that can check that, but I think this might weigh just a little bit more than that. So now we're kind of getting a little closer to, to the truth here. Like we're, we're, we're cutting through the crap, okay? Now, I'm on a slope right now. Even my chair is on a slope. I would not want to set up a tent on a slope like this if I could avoid it. Can I sleep on this slope right here? Sure, but further up, absolutely not. And where I live in Muskoka, there's like a lot of ridges and, uh, and hills and valleys and, and whatever like Flat ground isn't always the easiest to come by when you're wild camping the way I do. And that's why I really, really, really like a hammock. I can sleep on a, uh, on a steep hill almost right next to the waterfront, almost anywhere, as long as I have somewhere to put these tree straps to suspend my hammock. And I'm basically sleeping on a level plane regardless. And that is super, super awesome when, when you're talking about a hammock. If you don't have somewhere that you can set it up, that's a problem. Now you're sleeping on the ground. And when you're sleeping on the ground, that's why I don't recommend uh, carrying uh, a, a 5 by 7 tarp unless you are one of those like, hardcore you know, bushcrafting guys that, that like to go out and do that. Um, and even if you are a, a hardcore bushcraft loving guy, everybody seems to love these 10 by 10 tarps and I am definitely one of them, okay? I, I got this because it was cheap and it was small and compact compared to the 10 by 10. And when I got this, I immediately decided that 
any tarp that I get is pretty much either going to be 10 by 10 or 13 by 13. I think the square tarps are better than the rectangular ones for versatility and a lot of reasons. These are still good. Don't throw them away. They're still good. But the, the this, this tarp can be strung over hammock. It can be turned into uh, like a tent, uh, any kind of shelter. These, these things are great. And that's like adds to the versatility of your hammock setup. Now, some of you might have seen my seven day survival challenge video. And I think it was maybe day three or day four. Uh, I was hit by torrential downpour and tornado strong winds. I mean, it was insane. Uh, not too far from where I was camping, uh, a tornado touched down, and I got kind of the tail end of a lot of that, and it was insane. And I had one of these, and the winds tore it up. It absolutely destroyed my my tarp um, that's why I got the 10 by 10 to replace it and then I came across one of these uh, I think it was like a secondhand store or maybe it was at a garage sale and I picked it up cheap but that's why I got the 10 by 10 because my my old 5 by 7 just got absolutely destroyed now I was sleeping in this tent at the time but the hammock was set up. If I had nothing but that hammock, I would have been very, very miserable during that time. This, man, did it stand up. These snug packs don't mess around, man. These are some seriously good tents. Because uh, I... I didn't even have to, to, I didn't have to do not one repair. I was super dry. I was warm, totally sheltered. I was still kind of nervous. Like I didn't know if a tree was gonna fall on me or what in the world was going on. It was absolutely torrential. But this, this got me through where this failed in a big way. I brought them both because I like them both and when it's really really hot like if I wanted to have an afternoon nap hammock would have been and was awesome to just have a little nap in and you don't have the heat of a tent and that's where these things kind of uh, fall shy if it's hot you will sweat to death in one of these things where these are just great for hot weather camping but when the fit hits the shan, you want a good tent to keep you high and dry. Now, I don't need to uh, peg everything into the ground. Um, and that's something that some hammock guys uh, like to complain about with tents, is sometimes you don't peg everything out. Well, you get nowadays you get like these dome tents they're freestanding you don't have to peg them to the ground and as long as they're not empty you know a good wind comes along it's not going to blow them away <laughs> it's you know you you've got all you've you got your gear in there all your sleeping stuff and you know kind of whatever chances are your tent is not going to blow away and even if it is a little bit um windy and you know kind of whatever you just tie them to some good sized logs or rocks and you, you don't have to peg them down and, and that's something that like I say a lot of the uh, hammock boosters uh, do like to say those things are freestanding guys it, it, it really doesn't matter if you peg them down or not I live in Muskoka we have rock you're not pegging you're not digging holes you're not that's what we have and I've never ever had an issue with pegging a tent down since uh, Oh, geez, like years and years and years ago, we had like these little triangle pup tents that you had to peg everything down because they'd fall down if you didn't. 
It's not like that anymore. Don't have to worry about it. So, what's better? Neither and both. It all depends on a lot of factors and a lot of situations, including your preference. Okay? No one's going to tell me to sleep in a hammock over a tent because I'm going to make that determination for myself, as I'm pretty sure everybody else will. But all in all, why not take both? If you have room in your rucksack and, and you have some really lightweight stuff, bring both along. Because even if the hammock lets you down, you, you do have the tent. And, you know, if you have your 10 by 10 tarp, then you have versatility for days. And if you're going camping for one or two nights, just bring whatever you like. Especially if you know exactly where you're going. But if you're going off for a hike, and I know weight is a factor in a lot of cases, but if you're going off for a hike, and maybe you're camping for a week, why not bring two? Bring your hammock, bring your tent, set them both up however you can, if you can. You have the options. And as long as you have ultralight gear or super light, it's not really that big a difference, is it? So... That's my two cents, guys. That's, I, I don't prefer either. I enjoy both a lot. And there's no bias here. There's absolutely no bias here. Each one will let you down in some situations and stand strong in others. So as far as I'm concerned, go with what you like. And if you have enough space and weight's not that much of an issue, bring something for backup. Bring a little one-man baby tent, just in case. If you're a tent guy, hammocks don't weigh that much, bring your tent, toss in your hammock, toss in your tarp. Why not? Blah, blah, blah. I know. All right, we will see you guys in the next video. Till then, stay well.